Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time we left off, we did Tynemouth Hill, and uh, I was saying that I was going to go to uh, getting my equipment and stuff at the start of this episode. We are going to do that, uh, and people did give me some tips on doing that, mostly just saying you can kind of just go to the next tier of stuff for now, but once we get to late game, we'll get some uh, equipment with some more unique properties and things. Um, because, you know, like, there's equipment in Final Fantasy Tactics where at the beginning, yeah, it's all pretty basic, but as you get into the later bits of the game, it's like, well, this would give me 20 less HP, but it gives me, like, plus one speed or plus one uh, physical strength and stuff like that, so. Um, let's go ahead and check out the Warren report, though. Um, because I was thinking this was basically just going to be tutorials, but apparently there is some interesting things in here. The titles command is now available. Music... All right, so if you a timeline of my accomplishments. Look at my accomplishments. The Dark Knight attacks. Uh, the Dark Knights attacked on a night that saw Goyat's first snowfall in years, and the town was set ablaze. A year has passed since that fateful night. Vice urges his steed onwards, bearing word to Denim that the Dark Knight Lancelot is bound for Goyat once more. What happens if I press A? A cutscene. Oh, it's oh, it's just this. Oh yeah, skip the current scene. Yeah. Okay, so the Dark Knight's attacked on the night that saw Goliath's first of all in years, yeah. And that's the- that's the setting the town ablaze that Vice talked about. Okay. Yeah. Hearing that the Dark Knight Lancelot was headed to Goliath, Denim and his companions assembled in an abandoned church to plot a surprise attack. As they made the preparations, Vice rushed in with news of the revival. Yeah, so this helps fill in, like, various bits of information for us. That's cool. Goliath. The Dark Knight Lancelot was atta who attacked Goliath a year ago has once again shown his face. Denim leaves his place of refuge to strike him down, and that was our first battle with you. Denim lay in wait for the Dark Knight Lancelot, hoping to catch him unawares. However, it was not the Dark Knights that arrived in Goliath, but a small party of Holy Knights from the Eastern Kingdom of New Zenobia. Denim spoke with the High Holy Knight Lancelot, explaining the situation to him and his followers. Having resolved their differences, they agreed to go to the aid of Duke Ronway, imprisoned in the castle. So yeah, we can just look at these things to kind of get a refresher on things. It also seems like he gives a little bit more context, too, which is nice. Denim set out for Almorica Castle to free Duke Ronway. The gate is held by mercenaries of the Galgastani. Later was Bapal, and we beat their asses. We had the Zenobians as our guests. The leader was Sir Garus. The group defeats the mercenaries and proceeds inside. The castle is, not def is defended not by Consul Nybeth, but a knight named Sir Agaris. Denim joined the Holy Knights in an assault on Amorica Castle. They defeated its defender, Sir Garus of Galgastan, freeing Duke Ronway from his imprisonment. Duke Ronway held counsel with his liberators, and the Holy Knight Lancelot and his men agreed to join the Wallister Resistance as mercenaries. Meanwhile, Denim and his companions were hailed for their role in the rescue and welcomed to the Resistance fold. Dame Ravnus of the Resistance spoke of the recapture of Amorica Castle and on the meaning of being a hero. So yeah, these are all the different cutscenes we can rewatch and stuff. And there we go. Soldiers of the Kingdom of Galgastan waylaid Denim en route to Chrysaro. Alrighty. So that's a good refresher of that. Tidings. Setting the trap. Okay, so that's just these things, yeah? Yeah, that's just these things. Oh, okay. So there's, like, the battles, and then tidings are actual, like... Yeah, like, the dialogue and cut and cutscenes that we've seen and stuff. Okay, cool. Talk. Five perished during processions, Zenobia on the march, anniversary celebrations, people. Oh my god, it's so nice to have like a full glossary and stuff. That's super cool. So you can refresh yourself on people if you ever need to. And then they have play guide and stuff like that. Okay, what, what do we talk about? This reminds me of like the topics at the bars. On the first of God scale, the Bakram Valerian Kingdom uh, celebrated the second anniversary of its founding. Festivities were held across Heim to mark the occasion. Regent Branton Morn announced plans to mend damage done to the Hanging Gardens in the war. Oh, the Hanging Gardens of Bakran Valerian, not Babylon. Okay, and it actually points out where the Bakram are. Yeah, that makes sense. So it was, um, Lotus to the north of them, and then down by the bottom part was where Wallister, down to, like, the south... West was where Wallister and the Gagastani were. Cool. Very, very cool. Five perished during procession. 
A great tragedy is taking place during Bakram Valerian Kingdom Foundation Day celebrations. Procession of the Dark Knights Lost Lorien has met ambush. No Dark Knights were harmed, but a number of onlookers were caught in the conflict. Five were killed and another 21 injured. It does not know who instigated the attack. Is no beyond the march? It has come to light that the knights seen recently in the vicinity of Goliath hail from the kingdom of New Zenobia to the east. Some fear they may be scouts for a coming invasion, though they deny any such charge. They have taken up with a band of rebels, and a close eye will be kept on their conduct. So yeah, that's Lancelot and friends. Remnants of the Wallister resistance have recaptured Almorca Castle from Gagastani forces. De Granway was freed, and the Gagastani have been forced to withdraw from the kingdom. Both camps will be watched with great interest. Amorka Castle was recently recaptured by resistance partisans, who defeated the accompanying Gagastani forces. None of the partisans were more than a score in years. Their leader, Pavel, is now celebrated as a hero by the Wallister people. And on the first of grayscale... Alright, we're back. Cool. Alright, well that's that's neat little things we can get there, some history and stuff. I do like when games have like an encyclopedia, basically, of information, so you can refresh yourself on names, and people, and all of these different things. That's so cool to be able to do that, so... Yeah, like, look at all this. We just got so much information about all of our characters and stuff here. I don't know if I'll be looking at all of these, because this would be, frankly, a just ton of reading. But, um... We could, maybe, we could maybe try and keep up with them. Or look at some of the important ones. So, why don't we read, like, one or two? A Wallister hailing from Goliath, his father, Prancet, was taken away by the Dark Knights when they attacked Goliath a year later. Then him rallied to the cause of the Wallister resistance, harrying the enemies of his people together with his sister Kashua and friend Vice. Aided by a band of Zenobians he met in Goliath, he freed Wallister leader Duke Runway from his imprisonment at Almorica Castle. He was then offered a place in the Wallister resistance, becoming captain of the Order of Grayscale. Called the Hero of Goliath by his people, he soon became a prominent figure in the resistance. And you are 18. Wallister hailing from Goliath who grew up with Denim. His father was slain a year ago when the Dark Knights Lothlorien attacked Goliath. While his, with his mother already dead, he was left an orphan. He came to deeply resent the Bakram and Golgastani for their oppression of the Wallister, and resolved to fight for his parents' for his people's freedom. You kind of look like a young Balthier. I'm gonna be honest. Wallister hailing from Goliath, she is sister to Denim. After the Dark Knights attacked her hometown of Goliath, she joined Denim and Vice in striking back at their oppressors. As Kashua's mother died when she was young, she assumed the maternal role in the family. Her father, Prancet, has trained her in the ways of the Sybil. Yeah. And then, yeah. Taken away... ...when they attacked Goliath a year earlier. So yeah, Prancet's not actually dead. Prancet was just taken... ...by the Dark Knights. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'm guessing that means we can maybe find you later. Yeah, both of Vice's parents died, but one of ours was just captured, which... I mean, I, I wouldn't be happy about what is potentially happening to him under capture. A Zenobian born in the family of uh, city of Valna in Charlem, who formerly captained the Holy Knights of the Kingdom of New Zenobia. He was stripped of his status and banished by King Tristan for the misconduct of his knights. He joined the Wallister Resistance after aiding Denim and freeing Duke Ronway from his imprisonment at Almorca Castle. Stripped of his status and banned, uh, banished by King Tristan for the misconduct of his knights. Interesting. So yeah, we'll read some more of these as time goes on. I read the first four today, but uh, yeah, we'll read some more of those. And uh, play guide basics and extras. So I might go through this really quickly just to um, get some information about things here. Because it, it looks like there's a lot of information. So I'm going to do some reading and I'll just point out anything really interesting that I see. Because uh, it is very helpful to read the manual and stuff for these older games, and this is effectively my manual. If, if, if this was back then, I would be reading this on the way home from, from like, you know, the, the video, the, the game rental store. Like, your blockbuster family video, what have you. I'd be sitting in there reading this and being like, wow! Ah, that's interesting. The scout command allows you to view the battlefield and enemy composition. Use this information to assemble the best party for the terrain and classes you're about to face. So yeah, you can see the battlefield before you actually place your units to decide who you want to use. That is very good to know. Yeah, that's another important thing to keep in mind as well with recovery time. Um, it's based off of what you did the turn before, so if I do want a character's turn to come around faster, I should just like, not really do much with them on their turn. That way, their RT will be lower so I can get a route back around to them faster. It also is affected by the weight of the equipment they carry, their class, 
as well. So each piece of equipment displays a value for its weight. The greater its weight, the more it adds to the RT of units equipping it. It pays to take this into account when deciding which equipment to use. That is very important. And each class has a base RT value. The RT of similar units will vary depending on their class, affecting the order in which they act. I usually like characters that are super fast, so I'll probably want to take that into account. So yeah, each action taken during an attack turn will have an impact on RT. The distance covered and actions taken with the act and skill commands all affect the RT that determines the unit's next attack turn. Equipment and spells also have RT values that are added to RT when a unit takes an action. That's crazy, this is a very in-depth system for this. Cool. Oh god, okay. So we are working with the Final Fantasy Tactics method of incapacitation and death. When an, when an ally gets downed, they will start a counter. When that counter hits zero, they will die permanently. Counter appears above the heads of units incapacitated when HP falls to zero. Each attack turn, uh, the counter decreases by one. If you reach zero, the unit dies. Incapacitated unit can be revived with magic or items. However, they are not revived immediately. They are revived on their next attack turn. Until they are revived, they are not considered alive. Your entire party is incapacitated and are waiting to be alive. The party is defeated. Incapacitated units are deceased once the counter reaches zero. Deceased units leave behind a bag of loot containing their equipment and are permanently removed from your party. Yeah, boy, I remember a dealing with a ton of that. Ah, uh, so we do have different move and jump stats as well. So you can you can see them on the stat screen. So yeah, we do have separate move and jump stats. That's good. Oh, that's interesting. When you use a consumable, it's removed from the party's inventory, but it still appears in the unit's equipment listed as used. Think of it as the unit holding an empty bottle after drinking a potion. This way you don't have to worry about remembering what consumables you equipped each unit with. Should help you prepare for the next battle. Units with used consumables will have an icon displayed in the party and battle unit list. Be sure to check for used consumables after battle. You can automatically restock used consumables. At the end of battle or when leaving a shop, your students will automatically restock any consumables they've used as long as there are identical items in the party's inventory. Items are restocked in the orders units appear in the party. However, after battle, units that were in the battle party will be restocked first. If there aren't enough, the game will restock as many units as possible. You can purchase any missing used consumables all at once using Quick Restock. While at the shop, select the Used Items category, then select Quick Restock. Not all consumables can be purchased. Okay, that's interesting. That's very, very cool. Okay, the debuffs are important to check out. So, Petrification, no, they can't do anything. They can still be attacked, but the damage will be greatly reduced. And it also fades after a certain number of turns. Poison is pretty self-explanatory. Um, stun actually has a certain chance of losing the ability to act. Which is interesting. Usually stun is like, you just can't do anything. It's kind of like how Petrify is in this case. But no, it's a certain chance of losing the ability to act. Sleeping units remain stationary and their avoidance of weapon-based attacks is reduced to zero. The debuff can be removed using magic or items. And will also fade when the unit takes damage or after a certain number of attack turns. Oh! So if it, if it gets removed when you take damage... That might mean uh, that throwing the stones can be useful for waking up sleeping allies like that, because sometimes throwing stones in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics was a good way to wake your characters up. That or using, like, Rush or something. Um, just something that does very low damage. So, that's good to know. So we can use that to wake up sleeping allies, it seems. Charm. Ugh, God, charm is rough. Always, like, one of the best status, of, uh, like, debuffs in these types of games. Charmed units are temporarily confused and attack their allies. The debuff can be removed using magic or items, and can also fade when the unit is attacked. Units will also recover after a certain amount of turns. So it can also fade when the unit is attacked. So this is like confusion, because uh, that was a one in um, Final Fantasy Tactics where you could hit your allies to get rid of confusion. So it seems like we can do the same thing with stones here for charm. Any other debuffs beside those listed here when units are affected with a debuff, you can view details about it using the condition command. Cool. Thank you. Ooh, attack types. Wait, what? Weapons or magic are influenced by type, element, and race, and each uh, piece of armor has a corresponding resistance to these. God, this is way more in-depth than, like, tactics is in a lot of ways. Unit is wearing armor resistant to a certain attack, the damage taken is reduced. Crushing, piercing, and slashing, and each has a corresponding resistance. And the elements in each has a corresponding resistance. See Elemental Hierarchy for more details about elements and the resistances. Human, Beast, Reptile, Dragon, Divine, Umbra, Fairy, Phantom, and Golem. And each has a corresponding... That is w interesting! Oh my god! This is so cool! And there's the Elemental Hierarchy. Okay, so there's that thing I saw yesterday. So we can't just refer to this in the Warren Report. 
And yeah, light and dark are strong and weak against each other. Okay. And each unit has an affinity. If unit element matches that of its magic and equipment, it will deal more damage against targets that are weaker against that element. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, this is interesting. The, the terrain you're on decides your accuracy with certain weapons, which, you know, is similar to something like standing in a forest and Fire Emblem gives you, uh, you know, increased resistance from, like, Ballista and stuff. Ballista can't or have a hard time hitting you there. But this is, yeah, it's different from melee and range. So on top of a roof, you have better ranged accuracy, but worse melee, obviously. And yeah, if attack types used increases the chance of hitting. So that's interesting. So it'll show me when I hover over a piece of terrain what that does. And some classes, such as the octopus, receive greater bonuses on certain terrain than other classes. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, we have had, we had men seen mention that we can get monsters in this, much like you can in tactics, so... Ooh, this is cool. XP. So when um, when our party members are at level cap, if I have someone at level cap, um, it actually just divides the characters, the experience up among the characters who aren't at level cap, which is cool. But also, if all units in my battle party are at the level cap, there's no one who can receive experience points. We get the XP charms. That's super cool. That's super, super cool. Wow, these are some neat systems, my god. Zombie units are included in the experience point calculation, however, they do not receive any experience points. This means that any experience points allocated to a zombie unit are effectively lost. Keep this in mind if any of your surviving units are zombies. Oh no, the zombie status! They don't receive XP if they're a zombie. Oh, that sucks. I'll screw you, zombie. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, yeah, equipment can have passive effects. And the passive effect is active as long as the item is equipped. Teleport movement takes priority, so if a unit is wearing wing boots and a seed ring, the seed ring's teleport effect will override the wing boots fly effect. Interesting, interesting. So we have equipment that can give you, like, float and teleport and stuff. Time- uh, teleport was like a time mage movement specialty in, uh, tactics. I think that's how you say that, uh, word, seed. Um, there's a- there's a, uh, there's a, um, demon in Instant T that I had to name, look that name up for. I want to say it was like Lananshi or something like that. I forget what the what actual language that is, but I think it's like Shi. Okay. And, um, gaining levels and weapon skills for the various different types of weapons allow those units to learn finishing moves for the corresponding weapon type. Cool. Alright, so that's everything in the basics. Um, I just wanted to get through that. That has some really interesting stuff that I'm probably gonna have to remind myself of constantly because there is a lot there. So, let's get into these other things. Ooh, that's interesting. Some events can only be seen from the report. In fact, reading the report may sometimes reveal new locations on the world map. Be sure to peruse it whenever you have the chance. Talk and people contain information about current happenings in Valeria, while the Wheel of Fortune, Tidings, and Play Guide detail the history you've helped to write. Keep this in mind when viewing each category. So we can actually get, like, new locations and stuff. That, that reminds me of, you know, having, like, getting Cloud, um, and having to go to the bars and gather information and stuff. Note that auctioning off certain monsters may unlock special items for purchase. Items unlocked through auctions are always limited quality, so be sure to make the most of them. Interesting? Ooh, this is an interesting one. So yeah, I didn't I didn't know the context for this before, but HP bars element, it'll have their HP bars actually show me what elements um, the various enemies are, so I don't have to actually look at their character to know what type of element they are. That's really cool. Okay, we might we might turn that on. Okay, that makes sense. Different elevations. Sword and access to attack enemies at higher positions. Weapons with a range of one can reach enemies of elevation up to two higher and three lower. Floating units can reach elevations 3, higher, and lower. That's cool. Huh, interesting. That's different. So, crossbows work exactly how they do in, um, tactics. Um, crossbows fire in a straight line, bow types can arc. Uh, and also ninja throwing blades are apparently crossbow type weapons as well. Um, when making a ranged attack from high ground, you can target units outside the normal weapon range. Conversely, when making a ranged attack from low ground, even targets within range can be difficult to hit. Interesting. So yeah, we always want archers to be up high. Oh, that's that damage that keeps happening. When I when I hit somebody and it shows like two pieces of damage, 
It's because there was something blocking them, I believe. So yeah, this is talking about knockback, and they specifically take damage. You can kind of bump people in the walls, which wasn't in tactics, but was in something else that I have played that I can't think of right now. But like, pushing people into walls does extra damage to them and stuff. Um, but also pushing them down, uh, like, high drops will cause them to break their legs. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, and shields have a higher chance of causing knockback. They're also skills that raise the chance of successfully knocking a target back. Oh, I'm thinking of, uh, I think I know what I'm thinking of in terms to, uh, the knockback thing. I'm thinking of Into the Breach. The, uh, the game, the most recent game by the, uh, developers of FTL. A lot of that game is about knocking enemies into walls and things like that, so you can do extra damage. So, that's cool. That's very, very cool. So shields just have a higher chance, so that's the benefit to attacking with shields. Locking enemies into chasms or off walls kills the unit, removes them from the battlefield. However, flying units are not affected, and knockback can be especially effective when used to knock enemies into harmful buff cards. Or to inflict additional damage by knocking them into an obstacle. Cool. Good to know. Interesting. Weather on the battlefield can affect things such as accuracy and the number of attacks dealt and the cost of movement. The worse the weather, the lower the attack accuracy will be. The cost of moving through difficult terrain such as swamps also increases in rainy or snowy weather. This penalty further increases with heavy rain or snow. Note that weather can change during battle, so take heed if the weather shifts. That is nuts. All right. Really? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Each battlefield has an elemental affinity that can be altered by spells and skills. The battlefield's element affects the strength of spells and skills. That is nuts! Each battlefield even has an element associated with it? There's so much here. Buried treasure. You may discover hidden items on your movement use certain parts of the battlefield and end their turn. These items are called buried treasure. Buried treasure can be found in a wild variety of locations and sometimes require that grass or snow be burned away to reveal the earth beneath before it can be discovered. Oh my god! This game is nuts! This game is absolutely nuts! This reminds me of like, move find item, but way more in depth. Okay, so anyone can be a mediator it looks like? You can sometimes befriend enemy units by using skills such as Recruit and Subdue. The chance of success is affected by range, loyalty, and HP. If you try to get as close as possible to units you want to recruit, they will often ignore you if you merely shout at them from afar. Check the loyalty of the unit. Units with lower loyalty are easier to recruit. You can judge the loyalty of a unit from the detailed help text when its name is selected. Try to reduce the HP of your enemy unit as much as possible to increase your chance of success. One tenth of their maximum HP is a good target. Yeah, it's like Pokemon. Each time you fail at recruiting, the target's loyalty increases, making the next attempt more difficult. Try to make the first time count. Okay, that's cool. Okay, interesting. So, if an enemy picks up a bag of loot, I have to defeat that enemy to get that loot. And then they'll drop their loot and the loot bag that they picked up. And if I finish the battle before I've reclaimed the loot picked up by an enemy, it's gone forever. So I imagine that means if loot's just lying on the ground at the end of the fight, I just get that for free, which is nice. Cool. Yeah, bags of loot remaining on the battlefield are collected and the items inside are added to your inventory. There's no harm in leaving bags of loot unclaimed. However, battle cards left on the battlefield are not recovered. Ooh, wait, what is this? Enemy units who successfully recruit can be added to the party after the battle is over. You'll have the opportunity to rename units. If the loyalty of your units falls too low, they will leave after the battle is over. If your units begin to voice complaints, pay attention before it is too late. Oh my god, how do I listen to the complaints of my units? Units have loyalty to their respective leaders. Though this value is not listed as a stat, it can be guessed from the detailed help message that appears when their name is selected. Loyalty of a unit drops when you take actions they do not support, such as defeating large numbers of their own clan. Units with low loyalty may leave your party at the end of battle. Take note if any of your units voice complaints. You may need to change your behavior to prevent them from deserting. That's nuts! Oh god! Monster stepping stone? What?! Units can step on, another, on other monster units in your party during battle. All monster units have an elevation of three. You can use this to your advantage by bridging a gap three steps high and two styles wide by positioning a monster unit below. What? Oh my god, there's so much. 
Some obstacles on the battlefield can be destroyed. When these obstacles are selected, they display an HP value like enemy units. Destroyed obstacles can leave behind battle cards, and removing obstacles can also serve to give you a tactical advantage. The Z... Z Zetinian calendar. Consists of 15 months. Valeria also has dry and rainy seasons with fair weather more common during the dry. The solar calendar equivalents are shown below. My god. Trimes or items that can be used on the party screen. Yeah. Experience points, stat bonuses, change elements, level up. Okay, so we got rare candies and stuff. Contingent color. Units on the battlefield fall into one of three contingents. Friendly, enemy, and non-aligned. Non-aligned units are independent, neither friendly nor hostile. To see which contingent a unit falls in, check the HP bar overlay. Color of the bar indicates the contingent of the units. The units in the list at the bottom of the screen are also colored according to their contingents. I wonder if I turn on the elemental HP bars if that changes, though. I'm imagining so. That'll, that'll uh, throw a wrench into things. Okay! It's 37 minutes into the video, and all I did was read that. <laughs> We're gonna go shop now, I think. Welcome. I'm sorry, but there was a lot of useful information in there that I needed to know. Some of the more redundant stuff I didn't bring up, like stuff that I already knew. But, uh, it had a lot of very important things in there, so... Yeah, unit list. I really wish you had a fitting room, but, um... So let's just check out everybody's equipment. So we mostly just... We have, like, bronze helm, leather armor on pretty much everybody. So armor we're all pretty much good on. It seems, but we might be able to get some, like, better weapons. Like, uh... Yeah, equip, stock. Okay, so we have a sticker. Um, we have bronze spear. Halt hammer. I am sort of interested in hammers, I guess. Broadsword. But, uh, isn't our main character Denim? Doesn't... I probably... I could have just looked at my party in there. Um, Denim, you like... Specific things, yes? Equipment. I mean, I can level up the skills so you could just be better with a different type of weapon if I wanted. Yeah, I can make you good with hammers, but... Right now you're good with swords, but sword one-handed swords specifically, so... Yeah, so you're always gonna be rocking a shield, I suppose. That reminds me. Um, I should put some items on every- I'm not gonna give items to the guests, because the guests are stupid. Um, and they will use up my items. But you dorks, I will give you some items. So you just have access to some things, yeah? There we go. Oh yeah, and Canopus came with a mend leaf, cool. Restore sense. Raise fallen, yes. Let's uh let's get some of those on, why don't we? Thank you. Breach. And remove sleep and charm. Cool. Alright, well we have those things on. And I have some people to revive now, that's good. Putting it on Canopus is a good call, because Canopus just has high movement, so... Alrighty. Well, that looks good to me, I think. Let's go ahead and... Just get over here, because uh, I don't want to buy the... I don't think I want to buy the sword. Good day. The broadsword that I was looking at, because we're good with one-handed weapons, and I don't feel the need to change that if we've already got some progress on one. Um... And yeah, everything else is kind of just... Yeah, we can't get anything too better. Oh, I do need to equip my um, mages with their new spells. That is right. Because uh, you do have access to some new things. So, take Spirit Search. And you, nothing, nothing. I got you. You could do Earth Damage. I thought I got uh, the Instill Air one. This class cannot equip this item. Oh, okay. Cannot equip that item, huh? Oh, you can, though. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can do instill lightning and instill air, I guess. And then I also got instill light, which you can't equip. So... Okay, Rune Fencer's the only one that can use these. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's a Rune Fencer specific thing. Okay. Well. I'd say after that, we can just go ahead and get to Chrysaro. For the time of Dor Dorgalua, this town in the Amorica Marches was the center of a cult worshipping the sea god Vask. I see. Should I be buying more... I have 33,000 goths. Should... Do I need, like, more consumable items, maybe? 
I didn't see much new equipment that I wanted to buy, but we didn't check, um... I'm sorry, I know this is going on a long time, but... There wasn't, uh... Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see any accessories. We just got, like, sundries and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I mean... I can get, like, warrior's rings. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's get two warrior's rings and two defender's rings. And just throw these on some of my characters, yeah? So, Denim, you're my main character. If you go down, it's all over, so... Well, you already have the Azure Necklace. You always run in like an idiot. Take the Defender's Ring. You can also have a Defender... Well, no, you have an Attack Ring. Warrior's Ring. There we go. Beautiful. You have a Warrior's Ring. And... You have the Defender's Ring. Cool. That looks good to me. There we go. I spent a little bit of my money. We'll, we'll see how hard things get. I'm sure I'm gonna get my ass kicked here soon. Ready for battle. Use magic to heal and obtain a buff card. Okay. So, let's go ahead and scout. Disband party turns a victory unit list. Alright, let's scout. Begin scouting the battlefield? Yes. Alrighty, we are scouting. Ooh, and look, we have like neutral enemies and stuff. Err, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, they're not neutral. I think the, the ghost and the skellies are actually working with these dorks. Wizard. Yeah. And, yep, just the skelly. Okay, and they're dark. The skeleton was. Okay, well, this is. Interesting, this is new. And it is raining, so elevation is gonna be shit. Or, er, er, accuracy is gonna be shit. Uh, so we'll end scouting and return to party formation. Yeah, sounds good to me. Alrighty, so currently this is my- Oh, cool, it remembered my setup from last time. Um, we do have seven slots now, though, so Canopus. Go ahead and get in here, friends. And then I got my two... guests. That looks good to me. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get a battle over with after I've learned so very much today. By looking at that Warren report, very helpful. I gotta remember with older games like Great this. Father, there have I seen such an undead throng. That necromancer uses men's souls for sport. I gotta remember with these old games, we really need to hit those manuals. Sleep, souls. Embrace the waiting Everworld. Nothing happens. You failed. Impossible. My exorcism has failed. Yeah, like come on, you need to you need to you need to pray harder. Come on. Perhaps the corpses must be still before the soul can be put to rest. How long have you been a How, how long have you been exercising if you didn't even know that? I've forgotten much in the quarter century that's passed since I last faced the undead. Listen to me, making excuses. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a fair excuse. Wait for me, Leonar. All I need to do is hold out till reinforcements arrive. The cavalry's here, friend. There, our liberators. Great Father, smile upon us this day. Perhaps he merely bears his teeth at you, old man. The sleep has already taken your friends. And no common sleep. They descend the sepulchral stairs toward death. When they wake, it will be as unliving horrors. We only need hold until Master Nybeth's return. Give them not an inch, and show them no quarter. Necroprentice is not a thing I've seen before. Vanquish Moldova? I don't want to take out an entire country, that's rude. Moldova did nothing wrong to me. Ooh, meditate. Please don't get that magic increase. Oh, I expected you to teleport. Word of pain. Okay, well we gotta go save this dork. Who seems like he's just running in with abandon. Okay, well, um, yep. Right there, and we're gonna need to 
So, shit. Did I not put, do, do you not, do I not have meditate on you? I should put meditate on you if I don't have it. I thought I had it. And uh, I thought I'd put it on you as well. That's a lot of buffs. Do you have meditate? You have awaken and stuff. Oh my god, the buff cards are everywhere. Jeez. It's still lightning. Oh. You did that automatically? Wait, that's not something you use? Oh. Can I see what the buff actually is? Condition. Lightning damage added to weapon attacks, lightning resistance increased. Ooh. That should be good because uh, it's raining, yeah? I can't see... Um, where do I see the, uh, elements? Okay, so the element is currently dark. I thought it would be water because it was raining, but the weather doesn't seem to have an effect on it. Okay, so it's dark. So things will be weaker to light magic. MP recharge card? Um... Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty good. Gimme. MP restore. That didn't actually give me any MP. But it just restored stuff that I used? I thought it was gonna fill up my bar. I suppose that would be kind of busted, though. Okay, Katrina. We're learning, we're learning. Get the bow and a sticker. Tremendous shot. Causes range weapons such as bows and crossbows. Score automatic critical hits. Uh, oh yeah, somebody did mention, um... That skill I didn't put on Vice that, uh, Denim here has. Uh, Mighty Impact. Such as swords and axes. Um, that, that is for all, like, uh, more than just swords and axes, as far as I understand. So it includes fist weapons as well. It just says such as swords and axes. But, uh, it includes probably, like, all one-handed melee weapons, if I had to guess. I really wish we had some Tailwind or Accumulate or something here. Quite handy. Just gonna meditate. Alrighty. Move everybody up here. I guess there's no point in casting a stone. It would just make my uh, recovery time even higher. So... Owie. You're not doing well, friend. Yep, just heal yourself. There you go. And run away. I'm glad all the buff cards are spawning over here by me. There's the meditate. Oh yeah, meditate's a... That's right. Meditate's an auto skill. And yeah, that means... That, that thing must have been an auto skill as well. Okay, yeah, that was like, for some reason I was thinking it was an active. But no, meditate's just like a passive thing. Okay, well, get that increased, like, magic damage. Yes, please. And dead shot on this dweeb. 121. Kill upon the Wilkin High, send arrow to win to smite my foes. Bangy. Boom. Uh, alright, so, Selfina, you could... Yeah... Heal or awaken. No reason to really heal or anything. So, did, did I have the exercise thing on? Um, I think I, oh yeah, I gave you spirit surge. I don't think I gave the other, my other character spirit surge though. Yeah, I don't think I did. Because I think I had two of them and I think I forgot to give the other one. So, we will need to exercise you once you go down. Uh, let's go ahead and get that boosted physical attack there. And stab ya. Boom. Dead. Okay, so that means you're gonna get up in three turns. So, we need to be careful about that. Um, let's actually get you that physical attack up, Canopus. Thank you. Um, and we got ourselves a crossbow. Um, I think that's my best bet right there. Beautiful. Physical attack up for Vice. That's fine with me. Yeah. Skills. Yeah, mighty impact and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I... Unless exercise was also a passive. I'm, I'm bad at noticing the, like, little things. Still. Not, not super, super great at those yet. So... Ooh, what is that? Increased light elemental damage? Maybe. 
I just gotta take out a country, it's no big deal. You're gonna steal the physical damage up. But you use magic, so that's not the end of the world. Ice Blast, owie. And your Ice Averse now. No, stop it. Meditate. Good stuff. Ah, okay, and yeah, you have the exorcism, so that's nice. Extra crit, really? Well, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, and I have Awaken and Heal. Yeah, I didn't equip that on you. How unfortunate. Well, you'll you'll just be uh, taking care of the healing, I suppose. Let's heal this nerd. Alright. Um, ooh, it would be cool if I could get you to a better spot. Fortunately, I cannot. Um, can you hit? Uh, no. Okay, you're just gonna have to wait. Big punch. Denim, uh... There's nowhere better I can get you to go, really, so just go over here and take this stork out. Bye, Teresa. There we are. Beard Surge. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm glad I gave that to you. Is useful. At least I remember to put one of them on. I forgot I had two of them. Pretty sure I had two of them at least. Um, so let's get a little bit higher here. So I can maybe... So it said I can shoot people, yeah, outside of the range. That's just the ideal range. Which is interesting to note. So... That is weird. Yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to. Being able to shoot people outside of my range. That is going to take a lot of getting used to. Now you're air touched as well. Or oh wait, no, you're you're, you're just air touched. Okay. Okay. Well, that is interesting, and that increases your damage with a specific element, right? Air resistance increase, air damage added to weapon attacks. Yeah, that's interesting. It would be useful to use on you. Um. You know, like coming into a battle. And uh, knowing what type of element uh, the enemies are and being like, okay, I'm going to prep for them by putting this element on. Uh, I think I want to grab this and give you a little stabby stabby. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, and there was a... Okay, and you took that extra bit of damage because there was a little... I, I guess I pushed you back and there was a little uh, extra height difference you could have taken some damage from. So cool. Skill trigger. Okay. Um, well, I definitely want to get you up here, Canopus. So you can have a high point to shoot people from. Ooh, that is big damage. Oh yeah, you didn't actually die. You have two HP left, you jackass. Bang. That's big damage. Bataron. Uh... Yeah. Just, um, kill Roland there. Alright, we really need some more exorcisms, people. I should have put more on my party members, but, you know, we made mistakes. We're gonna live with them. Owie. Ice Blast. Owie. I can take it, I can. Alright, exercise, please. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Otherwise, I would be screwed. Um. Yeah, let's get over here. Can't hit anybody interesting, can I? No. Yeah. Unfortunately, we just don't kind of call it down on them. Yeah. Okay, putting the revival thing on you was an awful idea, Miles. Because, uh, you're slow as dicks. Super, super slow. Okay. Big heals. Oh yeah, you can just heal the- yeah, okay, you can just heal the undead to do damage to them. Yeah, I should have, uh, thought of that. Oh, I should have healed you with my- why didn't I do that? Why did I not heal you when I had the chance? Um... I really should have done that. Let's see, who's coming up? Denim. Yeah, we got a few people coming up here. Horrible chances to hit basically anyone here. 
Uh, tremendous shot. Automatic crits with 100% accuracy. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. And act. Eat it, nerd. Beautiful. Alright, Denim. Uh... What's the range we can use items from? Okay, yeah, no, it's- we- we don't have throw item, unfortunately. We don't- we can't throw potions, we might break them. Okay, so... what could you do right now, Denim, that would be useful? No... I mean, I guess just move forward. I could have gotten you to, like, grab an item thing, but... It'll be picked up at the end, anyway. Bolt of thunder and sky blazing descend from heaven and serve me, giving the power of destruction that my enemies might fall! Okay, so yeah, now that I know more about this... Oh my god, I just overwrote my own buff. <laughs> Different buff. Okay, and concentration, now you got spell strike. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, well now that we've learned about that, <laughs> I know not to do that. Magic accuracy increased, huh? Fortunately, you're better with the wrong thing at the moment. Um, I would have rather you be lightning averse, or lightning first. Uh, ooh, that's perfect. Or I can just shoot this dork. 78 damage. Yeah, that looks good to me. Eat it, nerd. Okay. Now, I could get an item over there. So, let's, um... Let's see. You're next, which is good. I can move you back and you can get healed next round. That'll do me nicely. Um, do you have the... you don't have a skill, so... Alright, this looks good to me. Bang. And let's move you... Um, Cannabis? I was thinking about moving you down there just so they can't get that buff, but... What is this one? Ooh, physical up? Yes, please. Give me that. Alright, you... Um... I could have you act, but no real point. Let's just get you out of there. Actually, I could just move you right here. And you could probably kill this unit? No. No. Um... Yep, yeah, can't quite kill you. Okay, I'm just gonna move you back then. So you can get another action soon. I could heal you. 75 HP. Might be better than you potentially going down, because they have a lot of units getting turned soon. Yeah, let's just heal you with the Mend Leaf. I can get a billion more of these things. It's fine. Where is Master Nybeth? What is keeping him? The weather turns. I feel like I probably want to end this before Nybeth gets here. Because Nybeth might kick my ass. Owie. Plus magic. Owie. Alright, we're back. Alright, I'm learning. I'm learning, okay? It's taking me a minute, but I'm getting there. Uh, dead shot. So, that'll take Denise over here out. And the reason I was going to take damage if I attacked with my warrior there was because Denise has counterattack. This is way more in-depth than I was imagining. Especially from a game so old. This game is old. Tactics Ogre is old. But it has so much going on, which is super amazing. Like, it's very, very impressive, all the stuff that they have. Um, let's see, can we get up there? Yeah, that height's just uh, a bit too much there. I can get, like, right here. Um, nothing really for you to do, though. Besides just heal our friend there, so. You need it the most. Yep, you still need it the most, so. I use the Mend Leaf just in case, but you're fine. Can you exercise some more? Thank you. Appreciate you. Get him, Vice. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yes. Oh, and we activate your skill, Mighty Impact. And this is going to be a guaranteed crit, so I'll knock you into the wall. And annihilate you. Beautiful. Wonderful. What a sick badass. See, I'm learning. 
Ooh, there's my broadsword and some more Oberths. Video's uh, getting close to an hour now, but I usually for RPGs do like pretty long videos. Usually try to do an hour for RPGs, so. Xenoblade will probably be ending soon, so um, I'll probably be trying to do hour for this, hour for Xenoblade. Um, because it just, I think it flows better, especially for a TRPG like this. So, I, I can't, I've got to get rid of that. i got to get rid of that. <laughs> I met people that they were doing were like, no, you fool. <laughs> this is how we learn, though. You learn by making mistakes. Or at least I do. It's the most effective way for me to learn. A wine cask. I kind of want to... It mentioned destroying those things gives you a chance to get some cards. I I want some of these green cards we've heard talk about. Can I get some of those, please? Um, Auto skill card. Um, I think someone mentioned those just make auto skills proc more often, which... Once again, you don't have an auto skill, so I think I may just shoot instead. Yeah. Eat it, Jaeger. Eat this Jaeger bomb. Okay. Katrina. I'm just ignoring a lot of these cards because, uh, frankly, right now I don't need to get them. Ooh. 79% chance to hit. Not the best, but if I killed... Oh, it would have been so great. Um, okay, yeah, you move up. Oberon, yeah, you can't really do anything in that turn. More auto skill up. Okay, you have like max MP. I'm kind of intimidated about you getting over here. My oh god, the mages are so slow. It's a pain. So are my healers, to be fair. Just the lack of ability to jump for my, a lot of my characters right now is a pain. Please exercise again. Oh, you fool. Okay, well, you're down. At least. It is interesting to me that um, the enemies specifically don't take three turns to disappear like they do in tactics, but they don't. They wouldn't drop, like, crystals or anything, so I guess that's probably the reason why. Um. Alright, let's move you right there. And let's shoot this stork. 208, 97% chance. Oh, but you missed. Damn. I thought it's a 97% chance. I thought I thought it was a shoe. I thought it was a shoe win. Uh bang. Oh, I hit the corpse. Interesting. Oh god! Oh, if I accidentally hit them, then their stillness fades. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not- okay, well now's a good time to learn that. Alright, don't hit the ghosts or they'll get back up. Well then, the more you know. Get your ass back down. Thank you. God, you're scary, Denim. A uh, proper little Ramza, aren't you? Alrighty, so short bow again. That's enough to kill you. Bang. All right, now we just got to take out the uh, elephant in the room. Not gonna waste time picking up the other things because there's no points. I mean, uh, sure, pick it up, I guess. Thanks. We'll get it all at the end of battle anyway, but I mean, you know, whatever. Grab a few things. Ooh, a lightning bow. That's nice. Another one of those. Thank you for the exorcism. Should have done that last turn. Maybe you didn't have the MP for it, though. Uh, so I could try to hit you again, right? Oh, I see. Okay, it's telling me it you are proper out of range. Ah, I see. Okay, so I do need to move up a little bit more to hit you. Okay, so if I move, like, right here... There we go. Yeah, now you're in the... Okay. So, yeah, the, it had a red X. Um, even though it mentioned you could hit people outside of your range, there's still a limit to it. So, good to know. Luckily, you do not have a ton of HP. Um, can I hit you with this? Um, it seems like I can. Out of range. Okay, no, magic does not work like those. Gotcha. 
So I can't target outside of my range with that. Life Force? Oh! Oh, you just stole MP? I think that's what you just did. Yeah, so my short bow can't make it. Yeah, okay, okay, I see now. I got you, I got you. Well then, in turn. Denim, yeah, we gotta, I gotta make it over there. It's gonna be hard though. Getting across this bridge is slow going. We're a coming though. Mm hmm. Alrighty. There we go. Now we're close enough to actually start hitting you with some other things, so. Eat that 40 damage. Okay, and you move right here. And. It doesn't say it's gonna hit you because I'm gonna arc over you. Good. Meditate. Where are you going? Alrighty. Steal my life force, see if I care. It is nice not having to worry about spoon feeding like lower level allies because the XP is just spread very, very well. That's super nice not to worry about that. God, Canopus, you're scary. Uh, even in death would I have served you. Well, you're gonna be able to. Congratulations. So this is the Necromancer we've heard talk about, yeah? Oh yeah, I should have destroyed some more of those casks to see if they've dropped something good. Okay, pretty boring stuff except for Aqua Blast and Sleep. I got enough linen slops to open my own, like, air apostle. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot about the bonus objectives, making sure I do those. Oopsie, I'm glad I did both of them. I remembered seeing at the beginning, I think I kind of wrote them off because I was like, well, of course I'm going to do those at some point. Alrighty. Cuckoo. Total XP. A bunch. And if this... Okay, everybody hit the max. We're all level capped up. Skills? That's a lot. Um... Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Huh. Okay. Thank you, I'm gonna have to go through and check all of that. My thanks to you, Denim. You saved my life. This music makes me feel so much like FFT, which, you know, once again... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep bringing it up because I love that game and this game is, you know, similar to it and the precursor to it and all that, but... And my apologies to you, Abuna. Such is our reward for striking blind. Already I've lost too many of the Duke's men. I know not how I shall face him. I am thankful that you, at least, still live. The Great Father favors us. Oh my god, I recognize the hell out of your voice now that I hear you talking again. Oh my god, who is that? I feel like that's a, that's a big voice actor. I know I've recognized that voice as he is surely displeased by the trespassers of this Nybeth, a sorcerer of the foulest sort. Yeah, this is like the necromancer we've been hearing about, right? Yes, Nybeth. He lies hidden in a rotting fastness beyond the town. Odd. With his men left at Almorica, I'd have thought him bound for Caritna. What could he be scheming? I want his head, whatever it may be plotting. I will not return to the Duke empty-handed. You mean to take the fastness with these numbers? Should we not withdraw and regroup? Nah, we got Canopus, we're fine. Were it only myself and the remnants of my men, I would find retreat more palatable. But do not forget our new allies. I have not. Yet be mindful of the Galgastani threat. Why, they might attack Almorica at any moment. As I see it, we would not have the luxury of choice were it not for the heroes of Goliath. Yes. Yes, of course. Advance or retreat. The decision is rightfully Denim's. Voltaire, Sarah, I know you'll not object. Oh wow, we're getting Voltaire on the team, huh? Then it's settled. We are yours to command. New party members? 
No party members. Donalto wants to join the party. You are a cleric. And you can exercise, you can heal, you can meditate, and you have a good cudgel experience. Uh, alrighty. I mean, I will welcome you to the fold. That sounds good to me. You are another cleric. I'm probably going to lean more towards using a lot of the unique characters, just because I find that interesting, usually. Um... Because they have, like, unique art and personality and things like that. So when we get characters like this, I might lean into using those a little bit more than, like, the characters we can just recruit and things. Um, it might not be the best idea, but I like doing that. Um, I always do this in, like, Final Fantasy Tactics as well. Once, it, once I get some guests I really, really like, I just start using them over my other um, characters and stuff. Just because it's cool to have the neat art and everything. Sure. Thank you, Donalto. Sarah, you're just a basic archer. Welcome to the party because I can steal your chain mail. And uh, you have leather sleeves and leather leggings. Okay, I think you actually have better stuff. So yes, yes, welcome to the party. Oh, hey, Voltaire. What's up? How you doing, friend? There you are, all your glory. You have a halt hammer, a pelta. Um, the helm, the, yeah, chainmail. Okay, yeah, you got, you, you all, all you dorks have some better stuff. And you're a knight, specifically. You have the same, um, you have the same art as Agaris. And party level up. Cool. So, let's go check in on the party here. And see what new skills and stuff we got. So, yeah, and Mighty impacts. that's cool. So, resist charm and resist petrify. Well, that will be useful to use in battles where that's actually going to be a problem. But, um, I mean, sure, I can equip, like, I don't know, Resist Charm now, because there's nothing better to put there. Um, and you have no finishing moves, so that's nothing. So, most people just got the same things, right? Yeah, Resist Charm, Petrify, okay. Okay, just pretty basic stuff, then. Um, I can put Mighty Impact back on you, though. And you... Oh, you did have Exorcism. Why wasn't it showing up? Indirect divine spell that exercises a single stilled undead target. Indirect. Yeah, I... I could have sworn... Oh, wait, no, you were the guest. You were the guest, never mind. I don't think I had exorcism on my priest, though. Yes, I did not. Because we don't have it. Okay. Okay, that's what it was. But the, the guest, you, you weren't doing it. Okay, okay. Just, just wanted to uh, be sure there. Sarah's Pact. Attempt to recruit a divine unit to your cause. The lower their HP and loyalty, the higher the chance of success. That sounds cool. Costs 25 MP. Yeah, sure. I don't know how many units I'm going to be wanting to uh, recruit. Usually I like to stick to my main units that I like. So we'll see how that goes. You take Mighty Impact. Sounds good to me. And yeah, you have these things. I mean, you can put on Resist Petrify. And you could do Accuracy and Damage of Crossbows and Offensive Magic. So are Crossbows in Final Fantasy Tactics, Crossbows were, I believe, stronger, but they have like less range and they go in a straight line, obviously. I usually like the versatility of um, having Longbows because you can like arc your shots over your allies and stuff like that. You take Resist Charm and stuff. You have Meditate. Coax. Attempt to, to recruit a Reptile unit. Cool. And you also have the Spell Strike thing I can give you now. You have Recruit a Human. And sure, Resist Charm. And then, yeah, you have Concentration, Proficiency with the Swords. Yeah. So I guess I should, if I have spare sh slots, I should... Because the weapon skill, I can't remember, do I have, I think I have to, yeah, I have to actually use... No, 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 I don't have to use the weapon, because you're at 96%. So if I have spare slots, I should just maybe equip these things for skills that I'm... Uh, that, you know, like, weapons that I may want to use at some point. That could be good. Yeah, we might want to do that. So, there you go. You take that, and I'm taking off and still air. <laughs> I'm taking it off, okay? 
We don't need that. We don't need that. We're gonna instill you with lightning. And you're gonna like it. So... That looks good to me. Yeah, so on some things, like, where, yeah, it might be helpful to equip, like, multiple... You know, weapon buff things. So... How about I give you, like, two-handed swords? So you can start leveling that up as well, if I ever want to switch. And then you can have, like, I don't know, axes or something. And yeah, as we've seen with you, we can still level that up, even if we're not using them in combat, it seems. Because I don't know how else you would have gotten the 96.3 XP. So that's good. Alrighty, Canopus. Yeah, and you like axes and bows. Um, recruit a fairy. And resist charm. Charm is just very nasty. Okay, and you have exercise and heal. Yeah, and I do... Oh, I thought I got another spirit surge. I did not, apparently. Yeah. Oh, no, inventory too. This class can't equip this item. Oh, because you're a cleric. Oh, that was the problem, wasn't it? You couldn't equip it. Yes, you can't use Spirit Surge. Um, you're a priest. That's what allows you to use Spirit Surge. Yeah, just clerics can't use it. Okay, okay, that's the problem. Gotcha, gotcha. Hear hearing you loud and clear now. Uh, recruit a human. And you already have Meditate on. You can resist Charm as well. Charm's just so nasty. And Sarah. So, do I just jack your shit, Sarah and Voltaire? Um, I can see myself doing that. It might be helpful to just steal your shit. Whereas Voltaire is a knight, could be helpful to have a knight instead of you. You're just a basic warrior. But, I don't know. We'll see. This episode is long enough, so how about we just go ahead and then things off here. I'd say we learned a lot today, this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.